So we are going to prove the angle sum formulas for sine and cosine using linear algebra. In order to do that, let's consider a unit circle. If we want to think about what is the cosine of alpha plus beta and what is the sine of alpha plus beta, well, we know that the cosine and the sine are what we get if we start on the x-axis and then we rotate by an angle of alpha plus beta. That's the definition of the cosine and the sine. Now we know what we get if we rotate by an angle of alpha like this. This of course is gonna give us cosine alpha and sine alpha. So what if we wanna to get to alpha plus beta? Well, to get to alpha plus beta, we can rotate by alpha and then after that, rotate by beta extra. And that's gonna give us alpha plus beta in total. In order to do that, we can use the rotation matrix. That's gonna look like cosine beta, sine beta, negative sine beta, cosine beta. So this is the rotation matrix that describes rotating by an angle of beta. So if we apply this to cosine alpha, sine alpha, the total rotation will be alpha plus beta. So if we do this multiplication, what we're gonna get is cosine alpha, cosine beta, minus sine alpha sine beta and then down here cosine alpha sine beta plus cosine beta sine alpha and so we know this is rotating alpha plus beta degrees that's going to give us cosine alpha plus beta and sine of alpha plus beta so just like that we get our angle sum formulas